Assalamu alaikum, Faisal Abbas again here. Uh, uh, this video, we're going to be um, covering the, the second phase of our uh, EBS volume, uh, attaching to and detaching from Windows. In our previous video, we did the similar operation on Linux. So this time, we're going to do it on our uh, Windows instances. So let's uh, dig right in. Um, I am logged into the console already, and uh, I have uh, already created um, a Windows instance and uh, I have uh, attached to it or accessed it already. Uh, so let me just log in. Uh, I, let me just go into the uh, EC2 dashboard real quick. So I click on EC2. Here you see that I have two running instances and I have four volumes. So if I click on running instances, you see that I have a Linux instance and Windows instance running. Uh, Windows instance, uh, AZ, is US East 1A, so the volume has to be within the same uh, AZ. On the left hand side, I scroll down here, go into the EBS or Elastic Block Store, and I'm going to click on volumes. So you see that we have two volumes here. One is our core storage, uh, which is 500 gig in size, and another one is the uh, general purpose uh, storage, which is uh, one gig in size. So I just, you know, gave the labels as, you know, Windows data and big disk. So I'm going to go into the uh, Windows here real quick. Um, Windows instance, you see that I have uh, opened the disk management. Let me just quickly do it for you guys. Click start here, search for disk and uh, click on the disk management here. Disk management, you see that we have only one disk. And if I go to the file explorer, and go to this PC, you see only there is one disk here. All right, so let's uh, um, shorten size of it. Let's just go in there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight the first one, which is one gig in size, which we call it Windows data. I'm gonna highlight, I highlighted that. And uh, I'm gonna drop down the action, click on attach volumes here. It is going to ask me about the instance. So if I drop down, remember Windows instance, we labeled as Windows. So I picked here, I picked the device or whatever the next available one is, I click attach. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so it is attaching right now. By the time it is attaching, uh, we can refresh here as well. So it is showing that it is attached here as well. So I'm gonna quickly go into the, uh, our, Windows uh, instance and you see that the one gig disk is attached but it is currently offline not showing in the Windows Explorer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click here make it online. Disk is online 1023 is unallocated right click and then new simple volume which is to format the disk. <clears throat> All right and um, so we're going to pick the entire size of the disk next what is the assigned letter you want to assign to? The next one is, uh, next available one is the D. Next is uh, how you want to format and what the volume you want, volume label you want to give. Let's see, let's give it a name of data, okay? All right, next and then finish. So soon as we um, formatted it to NTFS and assign the drive letter, it has shown in here. So I can do whatever the operation I want. You know, disk is available online and, you know, um, we can perform any operation there. By the time it is, you know, uh, it is there. So let's just attach the other disk, the big disk as well. So I'm gonna highlight this one, which is the 500 gig disk, drop it down, click on attach. Same thing, instance, I'm gonna pick Windows and it pick the XVDG, attach it. It's gonna take some time, it's a big size disk. It is attaching currently. I like, oh, sorry, refresh that. So it is attached now. If I go into my Windows RDP again, and let me just increase the size of it. So you see that there is a 500 gig disk is available as well. It is currently offline. Windows Explorer, you see that there's nothing there. All right, so right click on it, click online. Soon as I online, since it's already, you know, um, partitioned and uh, um, uh, formatted as NTFS. So we see that, you know, the second disk is also available. So let's just, you know, let's just rename it. Let's say uh, we name it as backup. 
So the second disk is also available here. The, the cleanup operation is, um, you know, uh, we, can, we can remove from the console, but before we clean from the console, let's just make sure the disk is uh, cleanly unmounted from here. So I'm gonna offline here and I'm gonna offline it here as well so that, you know, disk doesn't get corrupted. As soon as I offline it, both the disks are gone. So I'm gonna go into the, um, the EC2 console here again and highlighted both the disks, drop down, detach volumes. Yes, detach them. They are being detached at this time. And you see that it is performing the operation. I'm gonna just refresh that real quick. It's gonna take a bit. And then um, as soon as it completes the detaching process, um, it'll give us the, uh, the information here. All right, so this completes our uh, our uh, second video um, of the series, which is to attach and detach from the uh, Windows instance. Hope this clarifies things to you guys. So I'll see you guys in our next video. Thank you.